Welcome to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, this has been a tough week. It has been. Very tough week. It's been tough, especially with your the main part of your company being mm -hmm. in Johnson County. You were mm -hmm. raised in Johnson County. Such a tragedy. It really is. It's been truly devastating. Luckily, um, that I know of, no, nobody with our company was directly affected, but we have a lot of clients, past clients, um, high school friends, families that we know of that were truly devastated by what happened earlier this week. And I know you and your family and your company, your hearts and prayers go out these people. Absolutely. Uh, and that's what we're trying to come up with ways to help, which I know the radio station is doing the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. So um, definitely we're trying to, to get all of our stuff together and to, to help the ones in need right now. So our thoughts and prayers are definitely with everybody affected. Right. And I thought that would be appropriate to just stop before we started with the listings, just to acknowledge what's going on in our region. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Now moving on with what we're here to do today is show mm -hmm. some, some good listings and, and this first one actually is in Johnson County. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, one that we want to say it's beautifully landscaped first off the thing when you're going to see the home you're going to see that. Absolutely yeah the pictures that we included on this one show the landscaping it shows the yard and um, they utilize the yard space really well to the curb appeal is great when you come to the outside of this house so they really utilize that well but uh, this house is located between Paintsville and Prestonsburg, it's still mm -hmm. in Johnson County, but it's on that uh, old 23, which is 321, close to where the old airport is. Right, so if you take the exit there, before you get into Main Paintsville, mm -hmm. um, I think most people know that as the hospital exit there, yeah, yeah. and you go the old road, 321, mm -hmm. it's near that Combs Airport, yes. the, so the Floyd Johnson County line is actually in that area, exactly. so it's in the Johnson County side on Annie's Lane. Uh -huh. That's correct, and this house is a, um, it's a ranch, but it's got low grade living area space under it and a carport under it, which you can also see in the pictures. Um, but it's 1,821 square feet. Mm -hmm. And then you also have about 600 square feet of finished basement space. Which can be used a million different ways. Absolutely. You know, from rec rooms to additional bedrooms to TV rooms to a den. Exactly, exactly. So you have the space to kind of do whatever your need would be. Um, it, it's it's there. The space is there to do it. And then on the main floor, you've got your mm -hmm. three bedrooms, two bathrooms. So you have a very nice ranch style house on the second floor. And I love the kitchen. Anyone who mm -hmm. cooks is going to like this kitchen because you've got the big island mm -hmm. right in the middle and lots of counter space. Absolutely. It's a nice size kitchen and it has a little nook off of it. And then right off of this you've got a living room and I think we included the picture of the beautiful stone fireplace that's mm -hmm. in the living room. So it has a lot of beautiful features about this house. And then like we alluded to when we started this listing, the outside space is beautiful mm -hmm. as well. It's got a huge deck. It does. It has a deck and the deck kind of overlooks that nice garden area that you can see in the picture. So it's, it's a really nice use of the space. And this time of year, we're in summer, we've still got warm evenings and mm -hmm. great mornings to go out and have your coffee in the morning and then close out your day outside. A absolutely. When you can utilize outdoor space, it always makes the house feel a little bit bigger. Great. Well, this one is one you want to see in Johnson County on 321, just inside the Johnson County line mm -hmm. on Annie's Lane, that MLS number 104. Two, three, eight. Now, Jennifer, the Paintsville office, uh -huh. the they one can, to call for this? Absolutely. They can contact anybody in the Paintsville office. Just give them a call. That number is 606-789-8119. Okay. Now, the next listing we're going to bring you is also in Johnson County. Now, mm -hmm. this one's going to be located in the Tudor Key community. Uh -huh. That's correct. There's a subdivision in Tudor Key, and the subdivision is Homestead Estates. That's where this house is located. And this is a newer house. This was just built in 2013. Oh, wow. It's a little bit newer of a subdivision. So this is a great uh, kind of a charming ranch uh, in the Tudor Key area. You know, and one thing that I noticed about this listing is mm -hmm. a lot of times we'll have a listing, and it'll say... There's an extra lot beside it that you can purchase for X amount of dollars. Mm -hmm. Now this one we can say, there's an extra lot beside it that's included. Exactly, exactly. It's got an additional lot that's included for extra yard space. So you have a lot of yard space that comes with this house. And then you've got your two-car garage mm -hmm. to be able to park your vehicles and then a great concrete driveway and the yard looks nice from the picture. Absolutely. And like we said, it's a little bit larger of a yard than typical. So you've, you've got the extra yard space as well. 
And then once you, once you move into the house, you've got 2,000 square feet. Uh, it's again a ranch, three bedroom, two and a half bath. And then it is a very naturally lit house. It has a lot of open rooms with big mm. windows. So if you like that feel that's in a lot of newer houses where you have a lot of the natural light, this house has that. You know, and it just makes it seem larger sometimes. Exactly, and this, again, this house offers it. And then the other thing that this house offers, you have 2,000 square feet of finished living area already, but they actually put in a permanent stairway to unfinished attic space that could easily be finished and convert it into a fourth bedroom. It can be utilized now as storage, but you mm -hmm. could easily up your square footage if you wanted to finish it out. Whatever you wanted to do, the infrastructure is kind of there to go ahead and do it. You just have to do the finishing work if you wanted to. And we included a picture of that so uh -huh. you can see. So hopefully we'll get some wheels turning for people that, that want that extra space to be able to do whatever they want with it. Absolutely. Okay. Now this one in Johnson County, the Tudor Key Community, $209,900, so just under $210,000. Mm -hmm. Paintsville office? This again is the Paintsville office. And like I said before, you can call any of our agents down in the Paintsville office. That number is 606-789-8119. You can always look at our website for any of these mm -hmm. listings, and that's www.rbnw.com. Okay. Now, continuing on with some Johnson County listings, uh -huh. this one is closer to US 23 mm -hmm. on Hager Hill. This one's on Cherry Hill Lane. Correct. And I think we've actually done this one before on the show, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. This is one of the nicest houses that I've seen personally in the Johnson County area. It is a massive house. It's over 5,000 square feet. Wow. Four bedrooms, four baths, and then in addition to that 5,000 square feet, you've got another over 1,800 square feet of finished basement space. So close to a 7,000 square foot home. Exactly. So exactly. you can do whatever you want in this house. Absolutely. And it comes on six acres of property. Yes. So if, you know, a lot of people love these big yards. Mm -hmm. It's therapy for a lot of people to mow grass. Well, you can get a lot of therapy at this house. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> and all the therapy you could want. Um, and then after you have that kind of therapy, you've got the in-ground pool uh -huh. to, to relax and cool off a little bit. Um, the house does come with its own tennis court. It has a pool building that is, of course, outside close to the pool. And then you've got a giant outdoor screened cooking area for outdoor cooking is an outdoor kitchen. Outdoor kitchens are so popular. Mm -hmm. If you watch any of the, the remodeling type shows on TV, on your HD TVs and other channels, mm -hmm. it seems like most of them you see are gonna talk about outdoor kitchens. Absolutely, and this one has a gorgeous one. So it, it definitely has that. And then you have a lot of car space. You've got a three car garage that's available. And that is all just outside. That doesn't even count what's inside. So I guess you can call this an executive type home. Absolutely. Absolutely. So anybody in the market for this type of thing, great house, like I say, mm -hmm. huge house, huge lot, huge yard, give you guys a call. Absolutely. And again, that's out of the Paintsville office, so contact the Paintsville office any way you feel comfortable. All right. $795,000 for this house. 104853 is the number. Now, Jennifer, moving on to mm -hmm. the next home that we're going to list is in Johnson County in Preston Estates, so we Correct. can talk about where this is located. Okay, uh, Preston Estates is off Route 40 and you're out towards the golf course. Okay. So you're out that direction, very easy uh, access into town, very easy access to the golf course, of course. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a good area to be in. And the good thing about this one is that you're close to Paintsville City, mm -hmm. with Paintsville growing like that they're growing, but yet you've still got quiet. You've still got this country atmosphere, but such close to all you, so close to all your amenities. Absolutely, absolutely. And you're close to, like you said, into the city. You're close to the golf course, and you're close to all the local schools. So you have all those amenities kind of right at your reach, but you're just far enough out that you have a little bit of that private setting feel in a nice little subdivision. And, you know, this one is great for, with the price being one thirty two five. Mm -hmm. you know, a starter home for a young family. Absolutely. A young absolutely. couple. And this is, it's a nice, if you was a starter house, it's a nice size starter house because you almost have 1,800 okay. square feet of living space. It's a three bedroom, it's a two bath, and then they have done a little bit of work to it. They've got a new modern kitchen mm -hmm. in it. It's got a nice size living room, private office space, and I think we've talked before, 
how much people love office space in their houses now as more and more people are working from home. Yeah, a lot of people are, are working from home as a second job. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've got your first career, your main job, and then people are picking up things on the side. They're locating, you know, whether it's computer work or whatever. So mm -hmm. it's nice to be able to come home and then still have that space dedicated just for that, that job. Absolutely, absolutely. It beats the kitchen table. Exactly. <laughs> so definitely one to look at. 132.5 we mentioned uh, just in, in Preston Estates off of Route 40 mm -hmm. in Paintsville. So 105.383 is that number. That is correct. And again, that's out of the Paintsville office. And these sellers have given us permission to say they are motivated. So if you're looking in that area, definitely give our Paintsville office a call on this one. Definitely want to sell this one quickly. Absolutely. All right. Now, Let's kind of switch gears a little bit on the okay. last listing we're going to do today. We'll move out of Johnson County, uh -huh. but we're going to go from Johnson County to Floyd County, and then we're mm -hmm. going to go from a residential to a commercial property. Exactly. We're switching it around completely here at the end. Uh, this property used to be an old bank location. It's located in North Ma on North Mayo Trail in Prestonsburg. Mm -hmm. Depending on what your office is, this is a great location. It has very easy access to the main roads. You've got very high traffic flow um, right by this building. Mm -hmm. So whatever business you're in, whether it be retail, bank, service, office space, this is going to be a great location for you. Well, you mentioned banks, so mm -hmm. if anybody that drives by this location, they're going to remember this used to be a bank. Exactly, exactly. And it's got the drive through lane, so that may be utilized for some businesses. It may not be utilized for others, but it is an option if there's a business that could, could use that. And the building has been, it's a completely up-to-date facility. It's a brick building. Uh, you've got a rubber roof on it, which for most people that do commercial work know that that minimizes some of the maintenance involved. Mm -hmm. um, so this building really has it all. And then you've got about 1,900 square, fe square feet of office space with this building. So great space mm -hmm. to be able to have some space to do what you need to do. Like we said, maybe you're expanding. Maybe exactly. you want that second location. Well, you're going to have room to do whatever you need to do. Exactly. And one thing also I want to mention is that anybody that's doing commercial, you want to accommodate your customers. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to say, we have parking spaces. Because yes. so many times, parking is so difficult these days. No, this does have a parking lot, and they've got it listed as 11 to 20 parking spaces. Of course, a lot of that depends on how you line them up and how you... Uh, you know, put everything in there, but you've got plenty of parking for, for most of the businesses for this area. Now this one, let's get real specific on the location. It's in Prestonsburg uh -huh. on North Lake Drive. Uh -huh. Which is so, the main drag. <laughs> I was going to say, that is the main road. So if, if you take the main Prestonsburg mm -hmm. uh, exit and you go by Archer Park, you get to where the billboards are. Mm -hmm. You go right-handed, left-handed? You're going to go left-handed. Okay, out toward the high school. Yes, and it's right there on the main drag. All right, so, <laughs> and one thing we want to just reiterate again is you guys do encourage drive-bys. Oh, absolutely, and this is with any property, residential, commercial, land. We always recommend that people drive by properties. Location is 90% of what they are looking for, so you want to make sure it's in a place that you want to be. So, Well, this is definitely one to look at. Uh, like we said, this one's commercial. It's mm -hmm. an old bank building. I'm assuming the vault is still there? I would assume so. <laughs> That's a good question when you call, especially if you want to move your bank to a new location. <laughs> 101169 is this listing number. Mm -hmm. And the price? The price is at 3495 and again, this one's being handled out of our Paintsville and our Prestonsburg office. So either one of those offices you want to call, feel free to. I'll give the Prestonsburg office number since okay. I haven't given it yet today. That number is 606-886-3939. And again, with any of these listings, like she said, residential or commercial, you can find these on the Red Brown and Williams we website. Mm -hmm. That website's www.rbnw.com. Right, so give these guys a call, look on their website, any way you want to contact them. I'll be glad to take care of you. Absolutely. All right, Jennifer, I'm going to step out and you get ready to come back for your Real Estate Minute. Our Real Estate Minute this week focuses on selling after a disaster. With so many recent natural disasters in Eastern Kentucky, it's important to know how this could affect a potential future sale of your home or property. The most important thing to remember is to fully disclose to any potential buyers what happened with the property. Disclosure when dealing with a home or property is very important for the protection of the buyer and the seller. 
So before a listing and during a listing, take the time to communicate with your realtor on any issues, from large disasters to smaller issues. The Red Brown and Williams family would like to send our thoughts and prayers to all those affected by the recent weather in Eastern Kentucky. Thank you for joining us this week, and we will see you again soon.